Hello and welcome to the screencast on how to plot a point on the graph of a function in GeoGebra. Open up GeoGebra and enter in the function f of x equals x plus cosine x by typing this expression exactly as you see it and including the f of x equals part into the input bar and then hit enter. This will produce a basic graph of the function. Let's see how to place a point on this function. And there are two ways to do this. One way is to use the toolbar up at the top of the screen. Go up and select the new point tool then just go over to the function in the graphics view and click on the graph of the function in the place where you want to put the point. Notice that when you are actually on the graph, the graph will, highlighted, will be highlighted and you'll see a text label. Make sure that you're putting the point actually on the graph, otherwise it will just be a free point in space that has no relation to the graph. You now have a labeled point that is on the graph. Notice that when I go to the move tool, and then go over and click and drag on the point, it moves but it stays on the graph. And notice when I move the point over in the algebra view you can see its coordinates change. So the other way to plot a point is to enter its coordinates directly using the input bar. For example, if I go to the input bar and type in the ordered pair 2, 3 in the input bar with parentheses, the point 2, 3 is plotted. Now suppose I wanted to put a point on this graph exactly above x equals 3. The x-coordinate of that point is obviously 3. The y-coordinate isn't known, but it would be f of 3 because the point would sit on the graph of f above x equals 3. So what I can type in in the input bar is parenthesis 3 comma f of 3 and close the parentheses. Since I've already defined f to be the function x plus cosine x, GeoGebra knows what f is and will evaluate f of 3 automatically. And I can see the results that the point is plotted on the graph directly above x equals 3. But also notice I cannot move the point because I defined this point specifically to stay at x equals 3 at all times. So with these two methods of plotting points on a function, use the first method of plotting a point if you just want to put a point on the graph and you don't care where it is as long as it sits on the graph and if you want to be able to move the point around once you plotted it. On the other hand, use the second direct input method if you want the point to appear in a specific place and you don't want to have to move it around. Thanks for watching.